This is HTTP 4K for the impatient. Known for its unreasonably efficient testability, HTTP 4K is the definitive toolkit for functional type-safe HTTP applications in Kotlin. To build a server, define a new route that takes a path parameter and bind it to a method. Parameters can be retrieved directly from the request. Next, define a DTO and an adapter for serialization. Build a DTO with data from the path parameter, serialize it, and attach it to the response body. To run, convert the HTTP handler to a server and start it. To test, build a request and pass it directly to the HTTP handler, then verify the response. We just built a basic client to test an HTTP handler, but the same rules apply for a real host. This time, the HTTP handler wraps a real HTTP client. The request now points to a specific host and is passed to the HTTP handler like normal. Once it returns, use the response in your application. Filters are reusable decorators for an HTTP handler. It's often easiest to start with a template. From there, you can inspect and modify requests before they're handled and responses before they're sent. You can also use any of the built-in filters. To build the final HTTP handler, compose the filters together before terminating with the base HTTP handler. Order does matter. Note how the extra response header was added before it was printed. Lenses provide easy and type-safe access to properties in a request and response. In this example, lenses will replace the path parameter and body serialization. The path lens can be used to build a path template and then bound to a method like normal. The path lens can extract the path parameter from the request, and the body lens can inject the serialized DTO into the response. Lenses are fully reusable in clients. Use the same request path and inject the path parameter, then extract the DTO from the response. To protect an API, define a container to store request context, then define a context lens to access the authorization principle. We'll start off with a normal HTTP handler and retrieve the principle from the request, then generate a customized response. To authenticate the principle, define a lookup. The access token must be exchanged for a principle or null to put it all together, Start off with a filter to initialize the context container, then add an authentication filter, which will inject the principle into the request context, then terminate with the base HTTP handler. To test, start off with an unauthorized request. Pass it through the HTTP handler, and it will return as unauthorized to authenticate. Build a credentials filter and wrap the HTTP handler. Pass the same request through, and it will succeed. The best way to make an API consumable is to provide an open API specification with the optional contract module. Start by building a path template using the div operator between segments. Attach some metadata to document the operation, then bind it to a method. To implement this contract, there is now an outer function that provides the value of the path parameters. Complete the implementation like normal, but take advantage of the provided parameters. To assemble it into an HTTP handler, open a contract builder and add the route. Add a security provider to protect the API and include it in the specification. Register the OpenAPI renderer and set the output path. Next, choose one of the available UIs and point it to the specification. To put it all together, initialize the context container and finalize with the composite HTTP handler of the API and UI. Build a main function to run the server and the Swagger UI will be available. To test a contract, start off with an authentication filter and finalize with the HTTP handler. Since we defined a contract route, use it to build the request skeleton and inject the path parameter. Pass in a request, and the response will reflect the path parameter and the principle. This has been HTTP 4K for the impatient. If you want to dig deeper, there are docs in the description. If you want to see more coding videos that respect your time, you know what to do.